Halloween traditions and my Halloween traditions of what I did when I was a kid up to what I do now for Halloween and just, you know, stuff I've always done for Halloween. So let's get right into it, shall we? Um, so Halloween is my favorite holiday now. When I was a kid, I really loved Halloween, but I wouldn't say it was my favorite holiday. Um, as I've gotten older, I've, I just love horror stuff. Halloween now is my favorite. This is it's my favorite day of the year, every year. I always look forward to it. So one day I f truly feel like a kid still. And I just absolutely love it. As you can see, I'm dressed as a very terrible looking vampire. I know who I am. I don't have the teeth because I don't have uh, teeth to wear right now. I have to buy some from like a dollar store or something. But I don't think I'd be able to talk with those things in my mouth. <laughs> I'm sitting in my apartment here and I'm thinking... What, as a kid, what did Halloween mean to me? Halloween meant, you know, candy, a night of just going around the neighborhood. You know, when I was a kid, I lived in this horseshoe neighborhood um, where we would, everybody pretty much knew each other, and the only people on the block, you know, in the street would be the people that lived there. So you would know what houses gave out the good candy. You would know what to expect. Um, you know, you go with your friends around, and the two costumes I remember being most when I was young were Michelangelo from the Ninja Turtles because he's my favorite Ninja Turtle and Jim Carrey's The Mask. Um, I had the full yellow suit and everything and awful mask. I used to wear that. It was Halloween. I was either The Mask or Michelangelo almost guaranteed. Um, I remember being, I think I was like an Eminem when I was really young or something like a little kid. Like I can barely remember. I think there's some pictures somewhere out there floating around. Um, I don't have them. But, uh, but as I've gotten older, obviously, you know, I, I did trick-or-treating and all that, you know, I used to come home and I used to sort out my candy, and I'd be like, oh, here's the Reese's Pieces, or here's the Reese's Cups, here's the Snickers bars, here's the Smarties, here's, you know, whatever, I would always organize it, and uh, I'd, sometimes I'd get rid of candy I didn't want, or I'd make trades with my brothers, I think we all did that if we had siblings, but I used to have this, you know, a pillowcase or something I would carry around and I'd just fill up with candy, come home, dump it out, and sort it all out, and see what I got, how much I've got of each kind, and organize it all. Um, sure, I liked horror movies and stuff. I didn't watch a ton when I was younger, obviously, but as I've gotten older, I love horror movies, and I watch now as many as I can in October every year now. So, that's what I do when I was a kid. Trick-or-treating, you know, dressing up, and uh, just enjoying the holiday and being with my friends. But as I've gotten older now, Obviously, I don't trick or treat anymore. I've handed out candy a few times, um, but what I, I like about it now is that there's just something in the air about Halloween that I love. There, you can't really explain it. There's a smell in the air, or something that like crisp fall air, or something that just puts you in a good, like, spooky mood. And I just want to watch horror movies. Now there are horror movies that I watch traditionally during Halloween. Um, Lately, I'm trying to look for where I have a stack of them over there. But anyways, a few of the movies that I watch every year now, pretty much on Halloween or maybe the day before uh, Halloween, are Night of the Living Dead, the old zombie flick. Uh, I, I watch a lot. I watch Stan Helsing, uh, the Goosebumps movie with Jack Black. I really like that one. I've kind of added that one in. Um, Boogeyman starring Barry Watson. Idle Hands with Seth Green, Devin Sawa, and Jessica Alba. Love that movie. That has such a good Halloween feel to it. And The Hollow, which is a really bad horror movie, but it's so bad it's good. And it stars Nick Carter from the Backstreet Boys, um, Kevin Zegers, and Haley Kuko. And it's it's so bad. I used to play in like ABC Family every year around this time, like nonstop. And at one point, I just bought it on DVD so I could watch it every year without a doubt and uh, it's those two Idle Hands and The Hollow I'd say are the two that I definitely watch every year you know they always remind me of Halloween so I'm always watching those on Halloween and I just it's kind of bittersweet because when I'm watching those I know when they're over Halloween is kind of ending so the season's kind of over November 1st is always my least favorite day of the year compared to October 31st being my favorite day of the year because then I know I'm so far away from getting back to the Halloween spirit. Um, so I'm watching a lot of horror movies uh, this this Halloween season as well. 
And uh, of course, streaming. I stream a lot now, so I've been streaming a lot of horror games this month. If you didn't know, if you want to watch any of that stuff, um, I love to play horror games. My favorite genre is horror gaming. Um, been streaming Silent Hill 2, Resident Evil 2 remake, a little Alan Wake, Dead by Daylight, etc., etc. And it's just been a lot of fun, and I've gotten a lot of great support on the channel for that. But, um, I do decorate, as you can see. I still decorate time to time. Um, I do like to put up the decorations, actually, now, just in my apartment here, my room, uh, just to get me more in the Halloween mood. Uh, but the more the days go by in October, the more sad I get because I feel like you know, it's ending. And I still, it's just never enough for me. It's never enough. I always want to keep doing more. I always want more horror movies, more days of just horror stuff. Um, but that's why you got to kind of make the most of it that you get. I've been to Halloween parties, sure. I would like to go to a Halloween party this year. I don't think that's going to happen with COVID and everything, but um, I am actually going to a party like two days before Halloween. So, um, but I would like to go eventually, maybe next year, to a Halloween party, dress up. Maybe not as a vampire, but as something else. Um, see my amulet here. You know, so don't mess with me, all right? I'm going to come get you. I'm pale enough to be a vampire, guys. I'm very pale. I think um, you know people think I might actually be a vampire. I'm sure, I wear a lot of dark clothing too. So. <laughs> but I assure you, I'm not a vampire. I'm not. <laughs> but anyways, I want to know what your traditions are for Halloween, guys. Let me know some of your favorite pastimes maybe you did in Halloween. Some of the things you like to do now. Um, or some of the things you like to, some of the movies you like to watch during this season, or what, just what you like to do, some of your favorite costumes, anything. Give me something about what you like about Halloween and some of your traditions, because I'd like to know. Maybe I'll get inspired by some of you. Uh, there are a few things I'd like to add in eventually, maybe like uh, pumpkin carving. I've done that, you know, maybe when I was younger, but that's something I really do. Um, it's something I would like to do, you know. Again, I don't think I'm going to be doing it this year, but maybe maybe next year I can set something up for that. Uh, I think it would be kind of fun. Messy, but fun. So, uh, I want to thank everybody for your support on not only my channel, The Horror Night 2, and all the Horror Night episodes. It uh, means a lot to me. I hope you're enjoying them. Uh, the series, uh, this is episode uh, 14, don't quote me on that, something like that. But, um... I'll be making more of these, even not in October, you know, when I get the time and the inspiration to do so. I feel like there's a story to tell, because I always like to do these when I feel like there's something I want to talk about that's horror-related, you know? I don't want to just put them out just to put them out. I want to do it because I feel like there's a story I want to tell my own version of, or, of, or I want to talk about and bring more light to, like Blanche Monnier, like uh, Jeff the Talking Mongoose, or Spooner House, or whatever it is. I thought this would be a fun one to do, and just talk about Halloween. Um, so yeah, I plan on taking, what am I going to do for this Halloween, because this is being filmed before the day of Halloween, I'm not sure when this episode will air, but um, this Halloween I plan on taking a walk outside, I always like to take a walk outside on Halloween any time of the day, just to soak it all in, look at some Halloween decorations that are put up around the neighborhoods, um, always enjoy doing that, so I'll be doing that probably be watching movies. I might have a drink or two or three. <laughs> um, I'm going to try and stream something, at least something on Halloween. And obviously just, like I said, just watch a lot of horror movies. Maybe eat a little bit of candy. We got some Starbursts here. Um, I don't eat a ton of candy these days. I try not to anyways. Um, since one of my teeth is giving me some trouble right now, so I don't want to eat too much candy. Uh, I'll try. I'll probably eat a few pieces here and there. Yeah, just watch my traditional horror movies and just make the most of it and just enjoy it. Um, last year on Halloween I was very sick, so I couldn't really do much. Um, I had just bad migraines and was just nauseous, and I just I could not do what I wanted to do, and it was very annoying. Um, I ended up going to bed way earlier than I wanted to, not watching all the movies I wanted to watch. It was probably the worst Halloween, one of the worst Halloweens I've ever had in my life. But um, I'm gonna make up for it this year. So with that, guys, I bid you a farewell. Lebonski says goodbye. Good night. Happy Zeroween to all of you.
thank you again for all the support this zeroing season. Zero says it too. And um, again, please don't hesitate to tell me about all your Halloween traditions.